Hello and welcome along to the next episode of my camera conversion YouTube channel. So this video is part of the series converting VW T5 high top from a bog standard panel van into a fully fledged DVLA registered camper van. Now the conversion is pretty much all complete now so I'm just doing some of the final finishing touches to the van just to make it all a bit neater, smarter, things like that. As you can th see I still need to fit a doorstep on here but in the meantime this rubber seal it's definitely past its best, as you can see it's ripped, it's teared, there's no salvage in this seal at all, so this is going to have to come off and get replaced. Now I have ordered a replacement online, I haven't gone for a true VW seal, or an official one from VW, because those are around about £140-£150. I've ordered a replacement off eBay, I'll put a link in the description of the video below to where I've bought the seal from. And this seal in this packaging here cost a grand total of £35. So it's saving over £100 uh, just on a single seal. It's definitely going to be worth it as long as the seal itself's correct. It should be. It's advertised specifically for these vans for this particular door. So the only way to find out really is to rip the old one off and give it a try. I thought I'd do this video just in case anybody thought replacing door seals was actually harder than it is. It's really, really simple. It's one of the easiest jobs you can actually do on the van. It is literally just a case of pulling off the old seal all the way around. And as you can see, that's the old seal off. And it's definitely past its best. This is, as I say, there's just no repairing this seal itself. I could have possibly got a smaller section and just cut out the worst area and tried to... Uh, bind in the new section but I figured I might as well just get a whole new seal all together get that fitted and then at least hopefully I should know then that the actual seal going all the way around the sliding door should be a hell of a lot more watertight than it was especially with this one so I'm going to get that seal out give it a quick test fit see how it fits we'll get it ran all the way around and then hopefully in a matter of 10-15 minutes something like that we'll have a brand new door seal no more air gaps no more leaks and it should make the inside of the van that little bit more warmer, more comfortable because there won't be any areas for the actual uh, warm air to escape out where this seal was deteriorated. So I'll get the new seal out, get it cracked around and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Right, so there's the new seal ran all the way around. I've just been using a little plastic mallet just to make sure that it's on as firmly and securely all the way around as possible. Now you do want to be using either a plastic or a rubber mallet, you don't want to be using just a normal claw hammer or anything like that because that might be able to deform or damage the new seal. Whereas a plastic or a rubber mallet, that's just going to knock it on, on all, knock it onto the trim all the way around without causing any damage. Now you can see the actual uh, seal that's been provided is actually far too long. Normally they cut them down so they're pretty close to what you need. This probably looks as though it's got an extra metre, maybe two metres worth of seal on it. Which is good, it's always a bonus to have too much rather than too little. So at the join it's just going to be a case now of cutting where it's meeting up. Now you want to cut ever so slightly longer than what's needed. And then feed it in together so they're basically butt up right against each other. And then when they're malleted back down, there should be no moving it at all. So now it's just a case of getting some pliers out, slowly getting through this seal, doing as little damage to it as possible. As I say, I want to try and get as nice and neat a cut, nice and neat a join as possible. And when that's in place, that'll be the seal fully replaced. Right, so there's all of the excess of the rubber seal cut off. As I said, there's quite a lot of excess there. I wasn't expecting that much to be spare. Normally they cut down a lot 
closer to the actual requirements. But now that's all uh, been joined in there as well. As I say, that's a nice new replacement seal. And if I just get in and close the door, oh, there was a huge light gap coming through the bottom of the door there where the old seal had deteriorated that much. It wasn't even stopping. Uh, it wasn't actually pushing up against the actual uh, panel of the door so you could actually see daylight straight through. Now, as you can see, it's all nice and tight, nice and neat. And there's absolutely no daylight coming through there at all. So that's one sliding door, rubber seal, completely replaced in, what, 10 minutes, something like that. Really, really simple, easy job to do. And it can transform the actual uh, air tightness of the inside of the van, so to speak. As I say, there was a huge gap going along there before where the old seal had fully deteriorated. And now that's fully sealed up. It should mean there's going to be less areas for any heat to escape and any less areas for any cold air to seep back into the van as well. So as I say, I'll put a link in the description to where I bought this seal from. It's a nice neat fit, it looks pretty much standard compared to the, uh, the original seal that was in as well. So I do recommend these from the looks of this, that's gone on straight away, nice and easy, no problems. So as I say, I'll put a link in the description for the seal in case you need to replace your own as well. If you found the video useful, give it a good old thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, there's loads of videos on my channel, there's plenty more to come as well. So, thumb up the video, have a look in the description for the link for the seal. Have a look at my channel for loads of other content as well, and hopefully I'll see you on one of the next videos of my series. Thanks for watching, cheers.